Good morning, my people. Let's start with the mail. Deluxe Special says, uh, what's good? Player Supreme, love your videos. I just recently randomly found your channel on YouTube. I guess I should do some more marketing. I do know that if I title videos a certain way, it'll get more views. If I just leave it where it just does that generic titling, uh, they get less views. So you guys do respond to marketing style. I do know that. And I could you do the whole marketing thing, putting brackets around things. But the way I see it is if you really want to learn, then you'll just pay attention. That way I can weed out the looky-loos, the uh, bored people. Because I really don't want them on my channel. I really want, only want people to really want to learn how to better their lives. I can't stand the typical YouTube crowd that's floating here, floating there, just watching a video for some entertainment. And I know a lot of you guys are new. You don't really know me. So, you, like one guy made the comment of something about spending time on Bill. And, and this is uh, the, the other guy. Uh, we've already did some talking. This is another guy who came out of the woodworks not realizing that I already dealt with that subject before because you must be new you know this channel is not just for you it's for everybody who I can help so I've already gotten a couple of his students ones buying products from me now okay which is what my goal was now you think of you guys who use this channel who don't contribute a damn thing and, and then I'm Think about the people who are really interested in growing, who actually get what I have to offer. Okay, so who am I really here for? Also, people don't know me that I'm two steps ahead of old Billy. Okay, I know what he's gonna do. Uh, one thing he just did was uh, block out all the comments that make him look bad, and that's a weak thing to do. He went through and different screen names and you know put negative votes on them so they would get closed. And I wasn't aware that he was aware of that, that, which is interesting. Now that he did take me by surprise on. Didn't expect him to go, go do something that low. But all his other stuff, has his uh, responses, I already know. I know exactly what he's gonna do. That's why I point out what he's doing and why he's doing. I'm trying to explain game to you. So that when you look at women, when you see what they're doing, and what they're saying, you also see game, okay? Do you guys get it now? That's why Bill is a good tool for me to teach you guys with. Also, I'm taking his members, okay? Because they hear the ring of truth. There are some that are still stuck on stupid. You know, they'll, they'll stay there. But the ones who are, who, who are like you guys were, many of you guys were, you know, in the middle. And many of you guys are like that, too. You know, mad at women, because I'm going to read a bit, an email in a minute. You'll see that um, if, it's, if I haven't already answered it. I've been answering some without doing videos on them. So I'm a little tired of doing videos. Um, many of you guys are in that same position. So how dare you? How dare you be selfish and self-centered? And you haven't put one dollar into the continuation of this program. Okay. So think about that before you say something stupid and immature. One guy, he was 24 years of age. I'm like, well, damn, aren't you kind of old to be acting stupid? But let's go on. I'm a 21-year-old black guy in university, clean cut and all that. Uh, dress <clears throat> well and stuff. To be honest, I don't have a problem uh, having women choose up and dealing with them. I actually attract a decent amount of good looking women, women and people who don't know me constantly label me a player, even though a teacher in school suggests I look like I get women and I'm not a pretty boy either. So this guy is using dress, okay, to level the playing field, like I told you guys, and it's working for him. He says he's not a pretty boy. He just knows how to dress well and that attracts the woman's eye to him that attracts women to him. And I've seen that so many times, so many fucking times. My problem is specifically with black women though. 
I can get them sexually, but I just feel disconnected. Like I can't relate to a lot of them. I don't feel like the whole flossy weed head show off mentality. A lot of the ones I meet have, and these aren't even the hood hood ones that I stay away from completely, even though I still have swag. Okay. I know you're going, um, stop going to the clubs that you're going to where you're meeting these women that you can't connect with. There are, Go to the clubs where women who already have their degrees, black women already have their degrees, find out where they are and go where they are. And that's where you'll attract the better class of sisters, okay? You'll have a better better uh, pick. Okay, next one. Hello, Supreme, I don't know Supreme. I don't consider myself pretty boy, I just like, I just like looking neat and clean. There's another fella that uh, he gets women all up on his jock. And he was one of the ones that actually uh, originally complained that I was spending t too much time on TFL. And now that I'm, I'm actually pulling his students and they're actually buying my products, um, now people begin to see. Like I told Bill, like I said, you know, people respond to the truth. And they'll, they'll, his students can feel the truth, that it's not maybe as hopeless as they thought. Update, the mad Russian. Hey, just letting everyone know my update about the crazy bitch that stalked. Remember this brother, he had, uh, he cut his, his team loose and one girl went crazy, started stalking him. Okay, crazy bitch that stalked my life. Well, after she keyed my car, I'll bet you the TFL is gonna take this and try to use this as see what happened to him. But yet still the brother is fucking and having fun. Okay, let's not get stupid. All right. I don't agree with uh, fucking someone's sister, though. Okay, let's continue here. I fucking had enough with the stupid cunt. So I finally got a restraining order on the bitch. I didn't want to do it because it's my best friend's sister. See, I wouldn't touch my best friend's sister. Ever, the mad Russian. I wouldn't touch any friend's sister. And that's where, you know, I draw the line. But fuck, I couldn't take it anymore. See, that ruins your friendship between you and your friend, you know? She still calls me and shit, but things are dying down. Good. Thank God. Just wanted to talk to the fellows on this channel and tell them that by now, no one should not have a girl. Guys, it's so fucking easy to get women on the internet. I'm only 19 and have met at least nine girls from Plenty of Fish, okay? Many of you guys have bought my Plenty of Fish program. You see how easy it is to design a profile that attracts them. But I have fucked about three of them. It's so easy. It's like player said, it's fucking marketing. Make your profile what the women want to hear. Don't talk about gay shit like you like to play video games and all that bullshit. Because no girl thinks that's attractive. At least no hot girls think that's attractive. Also, guys, one last thing. I have talked to many women on POF, and they always talk about how creepy the guys can get after a while. Don't fucking stalk them or say stupid shit. Don't move too fast. Girls get pretty creeped out by that for the most part. Build up trust, and eventually you will get their number, and soon enough you will be in their pants in no time. Trust me, I did it three times already, and two of the fucking chicks were 21, and I'm only 19. Good luck, fellas. Listen to Player Supreme. He knows what he's talking about. Now watch the TFLers take that and try to twist it like a pretzel. Where's the women at? Night Dave. What's up, Player Supreme? I love all your videos well i'm 29 and never had a girlfriend but i have had one date when i was 27. damn there's people who have never that just surprises me that you, okay let's let's go on this is one i've been told that i'm a that i'm good looking since i was a kid but i always been single I like to work out, take care of myself mentally and physically. I don't have friends to go to the clubs anymore, so I've been going alone, good. But I still 
like to go to nightclubs because I like to see beautiful women and hope to meet them. My question is, what other places can I meet women other than clubs? Any place you step outside your home there, Dave? Uh, here's, here's a short list of places. Bookstores, coffee shops, uh, grocery stores, uh, gas stations. Uh, Jovina made a dude at a gas station once. Uh, I've met women just driving. Yeah, just driving. And I recall coming back from San Francisco, I had, we had just done a, some kind of a TV show. Or we've flown back into San Francisco and uh, we're driving back up. Anyway, it was me and my, my one friend. Um, there was a blonde chick and a Beamer. And I was, you know, I put my camera on her and I, and I, I got her to show me her boobs. And then I looked in the back seat, there was a car seat back there. She was a married woman. She was uh, some rich guy's wife. But it was fun, you know. Women driving tend to be—they can be kind of fun sometimes. Okay, l let me not reveal my entire life. Seven steps. Okay, that has been answered. Help finding some morning motivation. Hey, found some good use of your later videos. Been on top for a while, but it feels like I'm going to hit the bottom. Had a weird relation with a girl. So I found a new, the old jealous and the new broke up. So I kind of got a double crush. Guys don't get crushes. That's an illusion. We're men. Let girls get crushed on, on us. We get, we fiend. We get stupid and, and crazy. Anyway, a crush and having it hard to grab the balls and get back to the game. Since it's a vacation, most of the friends are outside the country. It's hard to find some motivation and get the humor back. Do you have any tips on how to get some motivation in the morning? Uh, yeah, work out first thing in the morning. Go to the gym before you go to work. Get up er extra early. Go to the gym. Get your day started the right way. At the end of your, your uh, morning workout, meditate. Just sit in the sun. I like to go to my studio, sit down on the bricks in, in front of my studio and just sit there and absorb some sunlight. For us African Americans, that's really good for us. I know we don't like to sit in the sun because we get darker, but that's actually a sign that it activates our pineal gland because that releases your melanin. So I sit in the sun every day. You know, this is about as dark as I can get. When I get the black rusty look, that's about as dark as I can get. And that takes time. In the wintertime, you know, it goes away, but, you know, I want it to be as dark as I can because that's a sure sign that my pineal gland is healthy. Uh, dear player, hate mail, LOL. I only wrote that because I know you said the media uses hate as a tool to rile people up. Yes, they do. So I hope you open this. I've been enjoying your videos for a good time and have read your seven steps. Well, I wish you had did my seven steps instead of just reading it, uh, music lover. I live in the East Bay and I'm coming to Sacramento to take the California real estate exam. Would like to go on a coffee date to Denny's so I can get your life story, LOL. <laughs> I, I don't do man dates, but I would like to meet anyone that comes to Sacramento for coffee, you know, as, as buds. I don't do the man date shit. Uh, I hate they actually inject that into our community, uh, our man community, man dates and all that kind of stuff. That's just homosexuality creeping in, fellas. So, and he's come from San Francisco, so I, and he's, he's got a big heaping full of that programming, which will help you get rid of over coffee. I actually have a, a better coffee shop. It's downtown, probably close to where you're going to be taking the uh, exam. Okay, just. Uh, let me know what day you'll be here and we'll we'll meet for some coffee, bro. I don't mind meeting people off the net. Uh, I'm not worried about someone, you know, shooting me because I'm packed too. Uh, but I don't mind meeting fellas. I've met quite a few of my guys from my forum and stuff like that. You know, it's good for the game. And people like to uh, meet who they see across this camera. So I'll be back in a minute when this one is done. I do have my show to upload on conversation 